Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Tuesday, February 7th, 2023, and I am coming on here with a yarn yakin video for February. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I actually love to crochet. <laughs> uh, I like yarn a lot and I make stitch markers. So please go check out my Etsy shop. It is linked down below in the description box. If you could favorite the shop and favorite a few items, it really does help me out a whole lot, even if you can't purchase anything. And I do appreciate it. Uh, so I do live here in the Chicago area. I have one daughter. Her nickname is Carrots like the vegetable. That's a long story. I'll tell you about it in a minute. And I have one rescue dog. His name is Camo and he is my old man. So all gray around the face. <laughs> I'm gray up here. He's gray right here. So uh, my yarn yakin videos are basically me just talking about yarn and acquisitions and finished objects if I have any and etc etc. But first before we get into that um, I did make some orders. <laughs> I have some I have some Santa sacks that are from like two months ago, I think, that I'll open up for you today. <laughs> and uh, what else? Uh, I ordered something from someone. I got something from Amazon. I have a letter to share with you from Wings. So we have a lot to talk about. Uh, before we get into that, I will let you know uh, that you can find me uh, on Facebook. So there is a Facebook group for this podcast. So please go over and join us over there. It's a whole lot of fun. You do have to answer three questions to join, but I promise you they're very easy. I am also on Instagram. So go and follow me over there. If you're not on Instagram, but you want to see what I post on Instagram and you're on Facebook, I have a Facebook business page, which you can go and follow me over there. Uh, the Etsy shop, of course, I am on TikTok but I don't post over there a whole lot. And there is a spring shop for this channel. So that means you can get like t-shirts and uh, tote bags and coffee mugs. And all the links for all that stuff is down below in the description box. So come follow me, all those places, you know, do that stuff. <laughs> oh, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe here too. Uh, we just hit 17,000 subscribers. That's really, really exciting. So thank you so much to everyone who left comments about the 17K. Uh, we already did our giveaway and that's all done and over with. So thank you so much to everyone who, um, who congratulated you guys. I mean, you guys are the subscribers. So, <laughs> all right. So the first thing I want to talk about is I have a letter from Wings that I want to share with you. Now the letter is pretty long and it, there's a couple stories. Uh, you can find this on the Wings uh, website. You can also follow them on Instagram and you can see the story um, there as well. Um, but it does say, Dear Rose, we are grateful for your support. And this was addressed to Rose Likes Crochet. So this is for all you guys who donated to Wings last year. For those of you who are new here, Wings is a domestic violence organization that's based here in Chicago. And for the past couple years, they have been accepting handmade donations from us. So if you're interested in helping out, there is a Wings video for 2023 that explains all of the items that they are asking for. And they are asking for specific items each month. So go and check out that video. Uh, it's like a couple videos ago. Anyway, she says, thank you. Uh, we are grateful for your support through the holiday store. We provided 115 families with 1,364 gifts and have plenty more to refresh some of the items within our housing and children's program. Um, and the, the story goes on to talk about how someone uh, couldn't make it and they needed a Christmas tree uh, and they wound up coming back and they got a Christmas tree. Um, but the picture that I want to show you guys, uh, last year, I think in October, we all donated lovies to Wings and every kid who came when they were picking up uh, Christmas presents got uh, to pick a lovey. And so I'm just gonna show you, um, this has my address on it, so I don't wanna show you my address. Uh, I'm gonna show you a picture, and I did post this picture in our Facebook group, um, but this is a picture of a little one, and she was, uh, the parent did give permission for her face to be shown. Um, and this is um, Santa, and she's got a lovey in her hands. <laughs> so I just wanted you guys to see that and to know that they do appreciate everything that we donate um, and uh, I am so excited that we get to donate again this year so thank you so much to everyone who helped out and anyone who is thinking of helping out for 2023 I just want to let you guys know also I have one package already for wings from it's sitting right here it's from Velda 
And uh, so Velda, if you're watching, I do have your package, uh, but I'm not gonna do a wings video with just one package. So it'll, it'll sit here for a while until we start getting some more donations in. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is I got a, a card from Judy, and Judy has a channel on here, Judy's Crafts and Stuff. I will link her down below. <laughs> and this is the card. So for those of you who might not know, it was my birthday a few days ago. Uh, we will wind up having a birthday giveaway sometime this month. Uh, so she sent this card on the day you were born. God thought, you know what? It's way too boring down there. Then he said, have I got a surprise for them? <laughs> so, and then Judy also gave me a separate note. And Judy, thank you so much. I did read the note. And I do appreciate you. And it was something about how the other cards were not appropriate. So <laughs> that she was going to send. <laughs> so thank you so much, Judy. All right. So we're going to get into some acquisitions here. I saw, I don't know if you guys remember a couple months ago, I was ordering pom-poms from uh, Amazon Prime. And I did get a couple more. Uh, and I just wanted to show you guys the colors. And I'm not sure what the price was because they don't really say what the price is. Um, but these are, it's 16 pieces. It was probably like 10, 10 or $12. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys, um, you can get like any color pom-pom on Amazon. Uh, this will be for winter for when I start making hats again. So that was one of my acquisitions. I thought those were really pretty. And then I have another acquisition here that I have not opened yet. And look at that great sticker. That's awesome. So this package is from Refuge and I will make sure um, I was able to order this. She showed it on her Instagram and then she sells it via her Facebook page. So I will uh, try and link both of them. If I can't find both of them to link, I will link at least one of them. Uh, but she showed this on her Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have one of those but in purple <laughs> and she didn't have any available. So she, um, she let me know when she did have them and then I ordered them. So let me open up the package and I'll show you what it is. Hang on. All right, you guys, I forgot I ordered a bag from her too. <laughs> okay, so the, the first thing I wanna show you is she sent me this um, and it's so cute. It's this little package. Thank you for supporting my small business. And it's a little sealed, a little sealed thing with her card in it and it's got like a little purple gummy bear and a cloud and a little thing it's so cute so um this has her phone number on it so i'm not going to show you her phone number i'll link her down below instead so anyway so um i got that and then this was the thing that i was actually interested in it is a little um portable accessory kit in purple of course because that's my color and um my daughter had lately has been um, doing some practicing after school for sports and I have to take her there and so I sit and crochet. <laughs> so this will be perfect to put in my, I already have an accessory bag, um, but you know, stuff flies all over the place. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what this is. There's a little bit of stitch markers in there. There is a measuring tape and it's definitely more purple than that. There is a, uh, yarn needle that's perfect and oh my gosh if this is a scissors that is so cute so I'm pretty sure this is a scissors um, I'm probably gonna wind up cutting myself here somehow <laughs> oh here we go it just pushes up <laughs> if I can get this to go up oh there we go <laughs> so cute Oh my gosh, so adorable. So anyway, so I got this from Refuge. I will make sure that I link her down below so you guys can go and check her out. I'm gonna like take all that stuff out of the plastic and then put it directly in my project bag. And then, and I don't remember how much these were you guys because there's no invoice or anything, um, but you can just check out her Facebook site. So this is the project bag and it came with a matching accessory pouch. So I'm gonna take these out of the plastic so you guys can see them, but look at how stinking cute that is. Okay, hang on. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so adorable. So here is the project bag. So it's not anything fancy, but it is so freaking cute. The inside is this turquoise color. She's got um, 
the drawstring and look at the little stopper for the drawstring. And then here is the little accessory pouch that goes with it. Oh my gosh, Refuge, these are just beautiful, adorable. I am in love with them. Thank you so much for uh, sending both of them at the same time because I saw the project bag after I already told her I wanted the, the kit. Um, so she did put them all in the same envelope. So, oh my gosh, I'm absolutely in love with it. Thank you so much. I can't wait to start using these. They're great. So she will be linked down below. You guys go and check her out, okay? All right, so the next acquisition that I have is I went to, where did I go? Five Below and Target. And I found some stuffies for the loveys that we all make um, from Z's tutorial. At least I use Z's tutorial. I will link her down below so you can see what I'm talking about. I mean, she's linked in all my videos anyway, but let me show you what I found at these stores. Hang on. All right, you guys. So I don't usually go to Five Below, um, but they have stuffed animals there. And I don't know if you guys can see this. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cute. They had Stitch. So I picked up two of them for $5. Uh, my only issue is that I'm hoping the rubber band will fit around his neck. Um, so for those of you who aren't sure what a lovey is, uh, a lot of people will crochet the actual head of the lovey and then crochet the blanket. And I am not that talented um, to actually crochet the head and the little arms that stick out. So I buy stuffies and then I crochet a blanket that goes around their neck and the blanket is removable. And that's all Zelda NRJ3's pattern. They're one of my best sellers at my craft fairs, so I was really excited to see these. They had a lot of them there, but I figured I would start with two to see if I can, I know I have bigger rubber bands that I can use. Um, so I'm gonna turn these guys into lovies. Now, um, if you have a five below, go check it out. They had other stuffed animals too, but I am I just love Stitch. I think he's so cute. So I got two of these guys, and then uh, we were at Target, and I don't usually shop at Target either. <laughs> um, and I found some stuffed animals there. Let me show you what I found there. Hang on. All right, you guys. So because I don't normally shop there, I wasn't sure where to look except for the kids section. So I'll show you what I found in the kids section. And I've had these before in my Etsy shop. Um, and I think I've sold them both at craft fairs. So this is Peppa Pig. <laughs> so if you are looking at Target, I found these guys in the toy department. So you can go ahead and take a look over there. They had some other styles of like Peppa's dress, but I figured it's gonna be covered by a blanket. So I just made, I just picked up the plain Peppas. Um, I don't remember how much they were, maybe $5.99, $6.99, because these aren't that big. So I got two of these. And then this guy was up at the register. It's called a groove of corn. <laughs> it says groove of corn only at Target. And um, I think he was like $5 too. So he's adorable. He's got this really pretty mane and a sparkly horn. So I got him. Oh, and here's his tail, but it won't matter because he'll be covered by a blanket. So this is a groove of corn which is totally awesome. And then uh, this guy was just randomly sitting in the Valentine's section. I don't know where they would normally carry him, but this is a Care Bear. It's the Share Bear. So I only found one of him because he was misplaced, but I picked him up. Um, I don't remember how much he was. And then here's the other thing. I think in my last yarn yakking video, I told you guys when you go to Walmart, look by the Valentine's Day stuff and you'll find like little stuffies. I showed you guys some stuffies I found. Well, this is what I found in the Valentine's section at Target. <laughs> okay, so now he's got like some heart candies with him, but I don't care. I'm gonna take that off because I'm not selling, I'm gonna turn this into a lovey. And I think, he, I don't remember how much he was, but he, this is Grogu from Star Wars. And it says plush with conversation hearts, but the the conversation hearts are gonna be thrown away because I don't eat that stuff. Um, So I got one, <laughs> two, <laughs> I got three of them and I'm gonna turn these guys into lovies also. So I guess my recommendation is no matter what store you go into, even if you don't think that there's going to be anything for you crochet related, go and like walk around, go to at least the toy section. I found stuffies at um, Walmart, Target, uh, Walgreens, Pharmacy, CVS, 
uh, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, it's like any store that you go into, Meijer, any kind of big store like that, or even if it's like a little local, local grocery store, go and check it out. I know my local grocery stores, they're called Jewel. They have Thai Beanie Boos in there. So you never know where you're going to find stuff. So <laughs> I have a lot of lovies to make. <laughs> All right. So that's it for acquisitions. I do want to show you my Santa sacks, but I do want to also um, answer some questions. In my last Yarn Yakin video, I said, you know, I was watching Llama Mama Kayla. Hi, hi Kayla. I'm sure she doesn't watch me. Um, but if she is, hi, Kayla. I hope you're feeling better. Um, <clears throat> I asked if anyone had questions, and I only had a couple people that had questions, so I wrote them down, and I'm going to answer them. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. If it's too personal, I will not be answering them. Okay, so... Uh, someone asked about Karis and how she got her nickname, and it's it's really just, um, <laughs> we were at a restaurant, and she ordered broccoli. She was really little at the time. She ordered broccoli, and they put, like, some kind of butter sauce and seasonings on it, and she didn't like it, and so the waitress kept on asking what other vegetables she would like, and um, she went through the whole, you know, list of vegetables they had, and she, and they said carrots, and she's like, yes! So my cousin was there at the time, he's like, carrots! So that's how she got the nickname. <laughs> um, someone asked about her grade in school. Um, I'll just tell you, she's in high school. Um, my favorite baseball team is the Chicago Cubs. I am a North Side, uh, I grew up on the North Side of Chicago, and I used to, don't tell anybody, I used to ditch high school to go to Cubs games, so they are my baseball team. <laughs> um, someone asked what my day job was, and I'm sorry, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, why do I volunteer at Wings? I think, um, Wings is a domestic violence organization, and I think a lot of times we like to help people in need. Uh, this was an organization that is near and dear to my heart, so that's why I help there. And uh, do I eat salty snacks, and what's my favorite? Um, I'm not a salty snacker. I, <laughs> excuse me, I do like nuts, like um, pistachios, cashews, almonds. Um, but I can't really eat them here because my daughter has peanut allergies. Um, but chocolate, chocolate is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. So <laughs> if anyone else has any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Okay, so we're going to get to my Santa sacks. This isn't the last round of Santa sacks that just came out. This was from before then. So um, the box has been sitting here. It's got to be at least two months. I'm sorry, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> and I have a premiere order on the way. We'll, want, we'll see how long that lasts here too. Um, so let me get the box, hang on. All right, you guys, I don't even remember how many boxes I got or how many Santa sacks that I got, um, but the box is still sealed. <laughs> I haven't opened it up yet. So I'm gonna open it up and we're, we're gonna see what we got. This was from the first round. So let me see, hang on. All right, it looks like I got five and there's no invoice in there. So <laughs> this is a Santa sack. <laughs> I don't even remember how much they were. Maybe like $9.99, $19.99. I can't remember you guys. We're gonna see what's in them here. Okay, so here is one of them. And it's the limited edition yarn. This says limited edition premium. I've got uh, this color, which is blues. This color, which is neutrals. And this color, which is called, let's see, grays. And uh, I am actually filming during the day, so it, the colors are definitely not showing up properly. <laughs> Let me see if I can get that red bag out of the way. So I've got these three in my first bag. So we're gonna see what's in the next one here. Oh my goodness. All right, oops, that thing broke off. All right, so here we go. Let's see what's in here. Okay, same thing. The exact same thing. <laughs> I guess I have a feeling that they're all gonna be the exact same thing, right? But that's kind of usually what happens, right? When you get mystery stuff, you never know what you're gonna get. All right, let's see what's in this one. If it's all the same thing, yeah, it's all the same thing. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be a nice big blanket project, right? Here, let's get this red bag out of the way. Yep, it's the same thing. <laughs> All right, so we have lots of the same yarn here. 
All right, let's see what's in this one. Okay, it's the same thing. I'm not even gonna take it out of the bag. But then I have one more, hang on. All right, so we're gonna see what's in this one. It's the same thing. <laughs> okay, so I got five Santa sacks and this is not the most recent one. Um, they are all the exact same item. They are uh, the premium, I think because they didn't really sell a whole lot of it. Uh, I got three different colors in all five bags. They were all exactly the same. So, so much for that. <laughs> if anyone has used this limited edition premium, let me know what you think about it. I already watched Crystal's video from Bag O Day, um, and she wasn't all that impressed with it. So, but I had never tried it before. Uh, but now apparently I have a crap ton of it. So <laughs> let me know if you use this and what you think about it. Uh, I always like to get lots of people's opinions on it. And obviously these will either be hats and scarves or blankets or something because I have a lot of it now. <laughs> All right, so I'm finally gonna show you guys some finished objects. Let me grab my first bag. Now I have three different types of finished objects, but there's multiples of each one. So hang on a second. All right, you guys, so the first set of items I'm gonna show you are market totes. And I'm gonna tell you about the pattern first before I show you the bags. And I'll tell you what I did to modify it. So the pattern I'm gonna show you, and they look like two totally different bags because I did them a little different, I'll tell you. The pattern is from Jada and Stitches and it's called the Shell Stitch Market Tote. And I will link the YouTube video tutorial here uh, down below. So they call for a four weight, um, two strands of a four weight with a six and a half or seven millimeter. Um, she gives you the whole pattern and everything. I always write my patterns down. That way if I make any changes, like as I'm watching, I can like be like, oh no, do this instead. Um, so the first bag, and I think I modified the handles too. The first bag is this one right here. Of course, it's purple. <laughs> um, I believe I modified the handles on this one too. So my favorite market bag is actually the granny square bottom bag from Crochet with Claire. So I actually made the handles like Claire does. No, I didn't do that. That's the other bag. Nope, that's not the other bag either. Um, I did something. Yes, this is the, these are the handles for the crochet with Claire. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a while since I made this. So I'm, I'm trying to remember how I did it. Okay. So this is the bag and that's the shell. It's called shell stitch market tote. And there's the bottom. And then my handles are like that. Okay. So I used this Bernat Handicrafter Cotton, and the color on this is called Violet Vibrant, which is weird. Shouldn't it be called Vibrant Violet? Okay, uh, <laughs> it's a number four, and let me see here. I don't even know where I got this. I'm pretty sure I got this online because uh, in my area, they don't sell this in the stores. It was probably an online purchase. So this is from Yarn Inspirations. It's a number four weight. They call for five millimeter crochet hook, 4.5 millimeter knitting needles. Wash color separately, some may run. Uh, for, some, for best results, dry cleaning for multicolored large projects is recommended. Made in Canada from 100% cotton. It is a 14 ounce ball, 400 grams, 674 yards, 616 meters. And uh, I mean, so that's, I can still probably make another bag with it. So Jada um, says to use double, I think two strands. I only used one strand with this. So, um, but you guys, it's 100% cotton. This stuff will, you can hold a lot of stuff in there. So that's the first bag I made. The second bag, I had a bunch of this, also Bernat Handicrafter cotton. Color is called teal. This is the same uh, weight, it's a number four weight, um, except these little balls only have 84 yards in them. So I had one, two, three, four, five of the little balls. So that's, uh, what is that? Less than 500 yards in here. And then I ran out of this, these little balls. And then I went into my cotton stash and I found 
lily sugar and cream by the way you won't even know the difference between when i changed colors because they're the exact same color this lily sugar and cream is called teal so same name uh just one is lily sugar and cream they're both from spin right anyway so this one i held two strands together <laughs> so it's a little bit thicker which is kind of hard to tell, but it, it stands up a little bit better. And I think these are the handles from Jada in Stitches. So uh, you guys, perfect tote bags. And whenever you make something in 100% cotton, it won't stretch out, it's absolutely perfect. And I like the bottom it, because it's so tight, like the stitch is so tight, uh, you won't have to worry about anything falling through. So those are some tote bags and I'm debating whether or not I want to use this pattern for my market bags because I really do like the granny square bottom market bag from Crochet with Claire, but I really like this one too because, I don't know, I just love the shell stitch and the bottom will make sure nothing falls out of it. And yeah, I don't know. I just really like it a lot. Let me know what you guys think about that. So those two items are complete and I think I might go and make some more like this. The double stranded one, I like that one better than the single stranded one. All right, so that is it for market bags. The next thing that I've been working on are face scrubbies. And I sold some at my last craft fair and I didn't have a whole lot of stock left. So I decided I needed to get going and make some. And if you guys don't know anything about me, I'm pretty obsessive when it comes to a pattern. Like I'm surprised I only made two of those market bags. But when I start making something, I have to make like a ton of them unless I really don't like the pattern. So I made a lot of face scrubbies. Let me go get them. <laughs> All right, you guys, just wait until you see what I did here. You will be like, you are so obsessed. It's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you guys remember those little cakes from Hobby Lobby. They were called Little Dollops. And they were originally, I'm looking at them right now, $1.99. They were on clearance like two years ago for 49 cents each. They were like little cakes like that. Uh, so here, let me just see if I can tell you how many. It's uh, 55 acrylic, 46 cotton. This is just one of the ball bands. Um, <laughs> let me tell you about them. They are 1.5 ounces, 43 grams, 92 yards, 84 meters. They're a number four. Uh, it looks like you can hand wash. I don't know, it's acrylic and cotton. I don't know why you couldn't just put it in the washing machine. Uh, so they're called Yarn Bee Little Dollops, and the original price was $1.99. So that's what it looks like. So I bought a lot of them because they were $0.49. Cents. Now the tutorial that I use, which I'll tell you about, is from Bag O Day because Crystal is amazing and she has a tutorial for everything. <laughs> it's uh, Face Scrubbies tutorial number 240. I will link it down below. And I think I added one extra row of puffs on it. So for every cake for every one of those little dollops i was able to get six face scrubbies out of each cake okay so this is what they look like <laughs> and this is how much yarn i had left over so i wanted to show you guys how much how many face scrubbies you can get from this yardage of yarn so what did i say it was 90 92 yards so if you have something that's 100 yards, you can get six face scrubbies out of them. So I just worked the cake as it came out of the center and I didn't really pay attention to, like I don't color control, so here's one of them. Here's the second one, you see it's got a little beige around it. Then there's um, like this peachy color, lighter in the center. Then there's this one with some gray. And then there's a gray one there and a gray one there. So this is how they came out of the cake. I did not modify it or color control anything. So I had, <laughs> this color is called Watermelon Whispers. And so I had one, two, <laughs> trying to keep them organized because I need to package them up. Three, four, so I had four of those. So I made all of those face scrubbies. And then I had this color, which is called Apple Lessons, and you guys can't get these anymore. I don't even think they make these anymore. I think they just do the sugar wheel cotton. 
Um, I don't think they have little dollops anymore. Anyway, I'll show you what one of the one of them looks like because I had a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I had one, two, <laughs> three, four. I had five of those. So this is what I've been doing for like the past two weeks is just making face scrubbies because I just wanted to use up all that yarn. Okay, this one is called Midnight Truffle. So I'll show you what this one, what these colors look like. It's mostly grays. There's two, three, it's a little bit darker than that. Four, five, see I didn't color control anything. Five, I mean all you're gonna do is use this to get the makeup off your face and then it's gonna go in the washing machine, right? So I had one, and then two, three. So I had three of those colors. Then I had this color, which is called Sunny, Sunny Licious. So it's pinks, yellows, and like blues. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, uh, and I wanted to show you guys, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and make some more with the extras. So there's one. <laughs> two and three so three of those the next color I have here is called surprise party and this is really pretty it's like a limey green so there's those oh my gosh see I didn't color control I don't know I'm not that anal <laughs> about it okay so there was one of those and then I had two and three and four. This one is called Bella Berry. I only had two of these guys. It's like this really pretty, it almost looks like denim -y washed out look. They're super pretty. That purple of course is awesome. So I only had two of those. So I made, so basically six for each little dollop. I only had one of this one. It's called Strudel Scrum Scrumptious. It's just grays and blues. And then this one is called Mint Mellow. And I had one, <laughs> two, three. And this one is called Puddin' Pie. And this is all blues, it's really pretty. So I had two of those. So I made 12 of that color. Then I found a Peaches and Cream Stripey. I think you can, I don't know if this color is still available, but you can, I got this at Target, or not Target, Walmart. And it's really nice, pretty faded. I got six out of that one. And then I had a little bit left over of a Karen cotton cake. This is like one of the original ones. And this one is called Beach Glass. And you guys, I didn't wanna use like sugar and cream or um, Lily, whatever it is. I didn't wanna use those because they're not soft. These are really, really soft. So I got six out of that. So that was my obsession with the face scrubbies. So now all I have to do is take the extras <laughs> and make some more face scrubbies, package them up and get them ready for craft fair season. And I don't think I'll have to make face scrubbies for a long time. <laughs> so, so that's it for the face scrubbies. And then I have uh, well, we're getting kind of long on this video. I'm going to show you one more finished item one more set of finished items and then I think we'll be done. So hang on. All right, you guys. So my last set of finished objects for today's video is going to be another bag of day pattern. Oh my gosh, she's so talented. If you guys are not subscribed to Crystal at Bag of Day, just cut this video off and go subscribe. Okay, so this is called the Bag of Day Vintage Soap Dress Cover and the tutorial number is 381. So use a four, a number four weight cotton and a five millimeter hook. And I made a ton of them. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the ones that I made and I'll show you the yarn. And what I did is I basically did like a duo. Not that I think people are going to make like buy two because you only keep one dish soap like on your kitchen counter, right? Uh, or by your kitchen sink. But I decided to use contrasting colors and I made two. Okay, so this is the first set that I made. <laughs> And they've got a little hole on the top and you put your, you know what, let me go grab my dish soap and I'll show you what it looks like. Hang on. 
All right, you guys, so here is a bottle of dish soap. I'm not sponsored by anyone, so I'll just show you the back of it. <laughs> and all you do is you put your dish soap with the little hole into the little hole. <laughs> and then this sits on your counter, all pretty. And you can pop that up and get your sponge all done with, you know, you would hold it like this and put it on your sponge. And it just sits on your counter and it just looks really cute. And there it is. And she does an amazing job of showing you how to do it. Um, she goes step by step. So if you have not checked out Crystal at Bag O'Day for this tutorial, I'll link it down below. Go check it out. Okay. So I used contrast because you're supposed to use a contrasting color for the uh, sleeves and the skirt and the edging. And there were some that I ran out, so I couldn't. <laughs> so this is my first set of dish soap dresses. And I used... Bernat Handicrafter, and let's see here. They are 71 yards, so I used a full one and then part of another one. And this color, I don't know if it's still available, uh, it's called Candy Sprinkles. And then for the contrasting color or the solid color, I used Sugar and Cream, and the color is called Sea Breeze. And um, I think I used this entire thing, this is all I have left. And let me tell you how many yards, just so you guys get an idea of how many yards you need. Um, this is 2.5 ounces and it is 120 yards. So you could probably get almost, well, you would need a contrasting color, but you can get like one and a half dresses out of one of these. Okay, so there is the first set, <laughs> so cute. This is the second set. Now she does show up that she starts off the neck with the contrasting color. So like, for example, on this one, the neckline here should be this color, but of course you guys can modify it however you want. Um, I decided after weaving in ends on the first set that I did that I didn't wanna have a contrasting color up here. <laughs> so I didn't do it anymore. There's one here that does have the contrasting color. Anyway, this is the second set. And this is using Lily Sugar and Cream. Let's see here, these are, I think, the Super Balls. Yeah, this is a four ounce ball, so it's 200 yards. So I used all of this, of this one, and then this one did not have a ball band. Uh, that's for the variegated one. Uh, so this one is called Bright Navy. So that's what I used for these two. Then I made some Christmas ones. Uh, and the colors totally don't match <laughs> because some of this has gold running through it and some of it has silver, but this was like all I had left. Uh, this was using, this is a really old label, you guys. I don't even know where I got this from. Uh, and this one is 90% cotton and 10% metallic. So uh, that's, and there was a bunch of other like scrap balls I had of the green and the red that I used for that. And then I have this next set so cute so it's like the lilac and then this variegated and then <clears throat> excuse me the colors I used for this were spring swirl from lily sugar and cream and <clears throat> soft violet that's all I had left from those two balls so if you have two balls you can make two dresses depending on how you arrange it the next one is <laughs> this set Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're so cute. I, I just love them. I have one of those soap dispensers in my in the counter, so I can't use these, but I really wish that I could. Okay, so this one was using Bernat Handicrafter, and the color is called Floral Prince. So I used one whole ball and then a little bit of that one. Remember, these have less yardage than the Lily Sugar and Cream. These only have 71 yards, and it's really blowing out. And the other color I used with this is peaches and cream. Color is black currant. And let's see, this one had uh, 120 yards. So that's how much I have left over from that one. So that's these two. <laughs> and then I have these two right here. So I won't be selling them as sets. They'll be sold individually because like I said, no one has two soap dispensers. Uh, this one is Lily Sugar and Cream, and the colorway is, this just says color 15. 
on it, which is weird. Usually it has a color name. And then the gray part of this was Premier Home Cotton. And the color on this one is called Gray Splash. So that's what I used for these guys. There's a couple more. I'm telling you, when I get obsessed, <laughs> when I get a bug, <laughs> I really just go for it, right? Uh, this one, this set is pink and gray. And it looks like I used some Lion Brand Re-Up cotton. And these are 114 yards each. The color on this one is called Raspberry. And then I also used some Lily Sugar and Cream. And the color is called Overcast. So that is those two. And I have this set. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. All right, and it looks like I used Line Brand Re-Up on this one uh, called Ecru. And the other color I used is Bernat Handicrafter called Country Sage. And it looks like I went through one whole one and then about half of another one on that one. So that is these two. And then two more sets, guys. <laughs> I have this red and blue and Lily Sugar and Cream on this one called hmm, Indigo. And then the red is Lion Brand Re-Up. I have a ton of this stuff and it's just called Red. So there's those two right there. And then the last set I have, it's hard to tell the contrast because the colors are so close, but you can see on this one, the skirt is solid and the top has a little bit of variegation in it. And I'll show you the colors. So the solid blue is Re-Up in the color Sky. And the other color is Premier Home Cotton. And the color is called Raindrop Splash. So, <laughs> so that's what I've been up to. I've been obsessing over cotton kitchen accessories and I'm working on some more right now. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy. Um, but with these little things, I just like doing it. If when you, when you get to do a pattern and you understand it, you're like, God, oh, you're so used to doing it. You could just do more of them. So let me know what you think about all the kitchen stuff. Let me know if you have a favorite pattern for a bag that you use. Uh, I really do prefer the uh, um, Crochet with Claire, the granny bottom bag, granny square bottom bag, but this is, um, I really like this one too. It's super, super nice. I do like it, but let me know if you have a, another favorite market bag that you think uh, I should try. So that is all that I have for you guys. Isn't that crazy? Uh, all this kitchen stuff. I absolutely love it. <laughs> so um, leave me a comment, like the video if you can. Uh, let me know what you think about all this nonsense obsessiveness that you, that you see here. And I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye.